Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we've got nothing to talk about. So, we decided to open the floor to you and let your messages of support be read out back to you just to see how big an impression you're really making upon us poor souls here. This first question comes from a redacted in redacted saying, where do you live? Um, near you. I mean, on a cosmological scale, it's all near you. That said, for the last three months, I've lived under your garden shed. This one comes from a Carlos in Rotherham. Oh my god, can you get out of your mum's basement, you gay computer nerd? You waste your time with pointless show and give self-suck from skinny boy's big mouth. Um, first of all, uh, the show isn't pointless. It's quite a harrowing look into our daily lives here. Second, it's you're wasting your time. Got you there on a grammatical error. And, I mean, to be fair, you've got us on the... I mean, all of us are slightly gay. And we do all own computers, so... We're sorry, Carlos, I guess. Letter here from Carolyn Penzance. Doesn't Charlie Brooker look stupid now that we're all stuck inside quarantining and all we have to do is stare at our phones? Yeah. There's one here from Tim. To Tim. It just says, Tim. Thanks, Tim. I have here a question for the Snow Queen, one for you. What's your favourite recipe? Whatever's your favourite, dear. Thanks. Uh, question here for Bessie. Do it jiggle, though. No. That's you told. And one here from Barry Venison in Newcastle. What can't you live without? Oh, it would uh, have to be my 84 KitchenAid in powder blue. Good choice. Good choice. Bessie? What do you mean, live? That's also a good question. As for me, I can't live without a regular supply of oxygen. Finally, a question for all of us here. Do you have any suggestions for fun games to play while you're at home? There's one I, I quite like. You do have to wait for match of the day to be on. It's where you put on a high-vis jacket and stand with your back to the audience. A bit like, sort of a bit like this. I call this Steward Simulator. That's great fun. There's another game I like to play where I lie on the floor and turn all my lights off and try to imagine that's what it's like being a potato in an allotment. That's pretty good. And game number three, um, sardines. That's usually quite a good one. Go nuts with that. Today's poem is called I Think My Horse Is Mormon. I think my horse is Mormon. They converted him last week. I think my horse is Mormon. It really makes me think. He doesn't drink his coffee. He has 27 wives. He wants to go to Ghana and save their people's lives. He clacks out Bible verses with his cheery Mormon gait. And if they get their scripture wrong, he cites Galatians right straight. I think my horse is Mormon, and I don't know what to do. I think my horse is Mormon, and my tortoise is a Jew. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. May the blessings of Bob and this house be upon you and all who sent in your correspondence. We loved reading it, and we look forward to hearing more. Please, let us know you're out there.